mind signing for these, please? David. Part-time job, remember? Working for the free clinic. Right. How are you? Okay. Well, that's not true. Maybe a little better than last time I saw you, but a long way from okay. You want to talk about it? <laughs> wow. I look like that much of a basket case? You did something that didn't live up to Ryan's ridiculous standards, and whatever it was, it's obviously still causing you great distress. I'd like to help. Just go away. I've always been a great sounding board You're, for you. Uh, you are also a conniving sociopath, and I know all you want is for me to help you get your old job back here at the hospital. That's not all I want. I don't want to hear it. And I'm not desperate enough to sit here and listen to your advice, so just leave my hospital, okay? Greenlee. I said go! Will you back off, Hayward? I think the last thing Greenlee needs right now is you making things worse. Making what worse, Scotty? And what do you know about any of this? Here's what I know. You're harassing her, and it's got to stop now. I never realized the two of you were so close. Really? I never realized you weren't smart enough to leave when Greenlee asked you to. We were just having a simple conversation. Do you want me to have you thrown out of here? Because I think I'd really enjoy that. Does that go for you, too? You can't hear the word no, David. I do now. Take care. Thank you. Forget it. No, really, Scott. You may be the only person in the world who understands what I'm going through right now. Brian can barely look at me. I mean, he barely says anything at all. There's just this silence. Hmm. I just want to grab him by the shirt and shake him and say, get over it. Yes, I screwed up. So what? I'm here now. You want to just throw it all away? Yeah, well, I wouldn't advise well, that. Well, there's only so many times I can apologize. I take it you haven't told Madison yet. What am I going to do? Oh, uh, I, hey, honey, just thought you should know. The reason I got so chummy with you in the beginning was because Greenlee sprung me early from prison so I could be your friend, keep you away from Ryan. Oh, by the way, how is the baby doing? No, I, I can't do that. And you can live with this? I'm gonna have Forever? to. Forever? I'm gonna have to. She's been hurt enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard plenty about Madison being hurt. You know, you're the one who tried to get her to leave town. You know, you lied to your husband about his baby, and yet you're gonna keep pointing the finger at Madison. Madison made her own choices. Not all of them. I hate lying to her right now, but not enough to come clean. Last time I owned up to something got me sent to prison. All right, now this time Madison gets caught in the crossfire. Well, she's no fragile flower. She'd survive. Well, I want better for her than that. For her or for you? Look, I am not going to hurt her because of my stupid mistake. And neither should you. Protecting Madison is not my priority in all this. Well, you know what? Maybe it should be. You think about it. If Madison and I split up, what happens? She goes right back to who she was before, a pregnant woman carrying Ryan's baby, with no one to take care of her but Ryan. <laughs> it is a beautiful day, don't you think? Well, I have to say, I haven't seen you with spring in your step in a long time. Well, I'm just fascinated with how quickly a person's fortunes can change. Uh-oh. Hide your kids, hide your wife, you are up something. No, 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 I'm just a regular guy trying to make it through this cruel, cruel world. Mm -hmm. You want to sit down? No, no, that's okay. You know, you don't seem to have what I'm looking for here. Oh, David, come on. I really do miss the good old days. When you were in a coma. <laughs> hey, hey. Madison, hey, how are you holding up? Don't start with me, David. No, look, believe it or not, that was genuine concern. I'm great. I don't need your concern. You don't have to cover with me. I know the whole story. I honestly don't even know what you're talking about. The whole mess with Greenlee and Ryan. You know how she lied to him? I gotta say, everyone thought the two of them were gonna finally make it to the finish line, huh? I don't know who told you. I don't care. I'm not gonna talk to you about this or anything else. Oh, okay, I get it. You're right. I mean, it must have been very humiliating to find out what Scott's role was in all this. Can I get an espresso, please? What? 
Yeah, that part of the story's out too. You know how Greenlee got Scott released from prison so that he would romance you away from Ryan? Wow, typical Greenlee move, huh? I can tell you, I, I, I was very surprised with Scott. I didn't expect that of him. You must have wanted to kill him when you found out. Um, look, I know that you and I, we got off to a rocky start. You know, I did some things that I'm not very proud of. And frankly, I, I regret very much. But this, wow. Well, anyway, I just, I just wanted you to know that I'm sorry, okay? And if there's anything I can do, Anything that you can do. Right, right. There's really not much, is there? When did you find out about all this? What? Well, about Greenlee and Scott hatching their plan to deceive you and Ryan. I've known for kind of a while, actually. Really? That's right. Well, I have to say, I think you're being incredibly brave through it all and forgiving. There's a betrayal like this, it's so, it's so personal. You're right about that. Excuse me. Yeah, well, you take care, madam. Uh, did you have something to do with that? <laughs> a gift, a gift fell into my lap today. All I had to do was use it correctly. I'm almost afraid to ask what that was. Well, Greenlee and Brian are going through a rough patch right now. This might very well push them over the edge. Why, David, you couldn't possibly still want Greenlee back. She despises you. I really don't understand why. Yes, I do, I understand. You can't have her, no one can. Is that your motivation again? Maybe something like that. Mm. I think you have another satisfied customer on your misery train. No, Madison's nothing but collateral damage. The real target is Ryan and Greenlee's marriage. <laughs> oh, man. This day just keeps getting better and better. I would leave it alone while you're ahead. Well, that's not gonna happen. Um, excuse me, guys. What do you want? I'm really happy I ran into the two of you. I think I may have done something that might have been a big mistake. 